in the glamorous era of old Hollywood, when black and white films ruled the screens, we're often left with a rosy view of elegance, chivalry, and undying romance. But, the glittering facade of Tinseltown hid scandals that would make today's gossip headlines blush. Here are 20 most scandalous stories from the golden age of Hollywood that reveal the shocking secrets of the stars we thought we knew. Story 1. The Tragic Death of Marilyn Monroe, which sparked numerous conspiracy theories. Story 2. The alleged love affair between Spencer Tracy and Katherine Hepburn, which challenged the societal norms of their time. Story 3. The mysterious car accident that took the life of actress Jane Mansfield, leaving behind a trail of dark rumors. Story 4. The scandalous trial of Fatty Arbuckle, which tarnished his career and shocked the nation. Story 5. The rumored connections between the mob and the major studios, exposing the darker side of Hollywood. Story 6. The dramatic fall from grace of Errol Flynn, who faced accusations of statutory rape. Story 7. The tragic story of Judy Garland, who was exploited by the studio system and battled addiction. Story 8. The rumors of a torrid love affair between Clark Gable and Joan Crawford, which sparked outrage during their time. Story 9. The alleged involvement of Greta Garbo in a lesbian relationship, which was considered a taboo in those days. Story 10. The shocking revelation of Charlie Chaplin's scandalous love life, which included numerous affairs and accusations of fathering an underage girl's child. Story 11. The dramatic divorce of Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, which was dubbed the marriage of the century. Story 12. The rumors of a love affair between James Dean and Elizabeth Taylor, which were never confirmed. Story 13. The tragic death of Natalie Wood, which remains one of Hollywood's unsolved mysteries. Story 14. The scandalous behavior of Howard Hughes, who was known for his eccentricities and numerous affairs. Story 15. The alleged involvement of Orson Welles in a love triangle which led to a bitter feud with his longtime friend and collaborator, Joseph Cotton. Story 16. The dramatic love life of Rita Hayworth, who married five times and faced numerous scandals. Story 17. The rumors of a love affair between Betta Davis and her frequent co-star, Paul Henry. Story 18. The shocking revelation of Montgomery Cliff's secret life, which included his struggles with his sexuality and addiction. Story 19. The tragic story of Lupa Velez, who died by suicide and left behind a scandalous legacy. Story 20. The dramatic fall from grace of Ingrid Bergman, who faced backlash for having an affair and a child out of wedlock. Transitioning to the subject of Jean Harlow, a prominent figure in old Hollywood, one of the most scandalous stories surrounding her involves her husband, Paul Byrne. In 1932, Byrne was found dead under mysterious circumstances at their home. The news sent shockwaves through Hollywood, leading to a whirlwind of rumors and speculation about the cause of his death. Byrne, a successful film director and executive at MGM, had been married to Harlow for only a few months before his untimely death. Initial reports suggested that Byrne had died by suicide, with a gunshot wound to the head and a note left behind. However, the note's contents have never been made public, adding to the intrigue surrounding the case. Almost immediately, rumors began to swirl that Byrne had been impotent and that Harlow had been having an affair. Some even suggested that Harlow herself had something to do with Byrne's death. However, an investigation by the Los Angeles Police Department found no evidence to support these claims. Despite the lack of evidence, the rumors persisted and Harlow's career suffered as a result. lieutenant she was subjected to intense scrutiny and public humiliation, with some even suggesting that she was cursed. However, Harlow refused to let the scandal define her and continued to work in Hollywood, becoming one of the biggest stars of the 1930s. To this day, the circumstances surrounding Paul Byrne's death remain a mystery. Some believe that he may have been murdered, while others think that his death was a tragic accident. Whatever the case may be, the scandal left an indelible mark on Jean Harlow's career and personal life, forever linking her name with one of old Hollywood's most enduring mysteries. Natalie Wood's life was marked by both triumph and tragedy. Born on July 20, 1938, in San Francisco, she began acting as a child and quickly rose to fame. However, behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood lay a troubled existence. Much of Wood's turmoil can be traced back to her relationship with her mother, Maria Zakharenko, Driven by ambition, Zakharenko pushed her daughter into show business and reportedly treated her harshly throughout her childhood. As Wood herself once said, I hated my mother for it I didn't want to be an actress. Despite her misgivings, Wood continued to act, 
appearing in films like Rebel, Without a Cause, West Side Story, and Splendor in the Grass. Her talent earned her critical acclaim and adoration from fans around the world. But off-screen, Wood struggled with anxiety and self-doubt, leading to bouts of depression and even suicide attempts. Tragically, Wood's story ended on a somber note when she drowned during a boat trip near Catalina Island in November 1981. The circumstances surrounding her death remain shrouded in mystery, with many unanswered questions still lingering today. Some speculate that foul play may have been involved, while others believe her death was simply a tragic accident. Regardless of how Wood died, one thing remains clear her legacy continues to captivate audiences decades after her untimely passing. Through her work, she left an indelible mark on Hollywood, forever etching her place in film history. Yet beneath the surface of her brilliant career lies a cautionary tale about the darker side of stardom, one marred by abuse, exploitation, and ultimately, heartbreak. Clark Gable, known as Hollywood's leading man, led a life filled with drama both on and off the screen. His romantic life was particularly scandalous, marked by multiple marriages, infidelity, and high-profile affair. Gable was married a total of five times, with his first marriage to Josephine Dillon in 1924. However, their union was far from faithful. Gable's wandering eye led to the end of his first marriage, and the beginning of his second to Maria Langham in 1931. But once again, Gable's infidelity got the best of him, and the couple divorced in 1939. One of Gable's most notable affairs was with actress Joan Crawford. The two had a tumultuous relationship, marked by passionate love and bitter fights. Despite their differences, the pair couldn't deny their chemistry, and their affair lasted for several years. But perhaps Gable's most scandalous affair was with Loretta Young. The two had a secret tryst that resulted in the birth of a daughter, Judy. To keep their affair under wraps, Young presented Judy as adopted, and the truth wasn't revealed until many years later. Gable's infidelity and scandalous affairs were well known in Hollywood, but it didn't stop him from becoming one of the biggest stars of his time. His rugged good looks and charming personality made him a favorite among fans and cemented his status as a leading man. In the end, Gable's personal life was as dramatic as any of the movies he starred in. His numerous marriages, affairs, and secrets made him a fascinating figure in old Hollywood, and his legacy continues to captivate audiences to this day. Errol Flynn, the swashbuckling actor known for his dashing roles in films like The Adventures of Robin Hood, led a life that was just as scandalous as it was successful. One of his most notorious relationships was with Beverly Adland, who was only 15 when they met. Flynn was 50 at the time, and their relationship caused quite the stir in old Hollywood. Despite the controversy, Flynn and Adlin continued their relationship, with Flynn even going so far as to lie about her age to the press. Their relationship was widely criticized, and it contributed to the decline of Flynn's career. But Flynn's scandalous behavior didn't start or end with Adlin. He was known for his wild lifestyle, which included heavy drinking and numerous affairs. He was even accused of statutory rape, although he was acquitted of the charges. Flynn's scandals, along with his legal troubles and declining health, took a toll on his career. By the end of his life, he was no longer the box office draw he once was. Despite his troubled personal life, Flynn will always be remembered for his iconic roles in classic films. But his story is also a cautionary tale about the dangers of living a life of excess and scandal. Judy Garland's journey in the world of Hollywood was not without its challenges. As a young actress under MGM, she faced immense pressure to maintain a certain image. This pressure led to strict diet control and a demanding lifestyle, which took a toll on her health. Garland was expected to adhere to a grueling schedule, often working long hours on set. To keep her energy up, she was given drugs, which started her lifelong struggle with substance abuse. The pills not only helped her stay awake, but also suppressed her appetite, contributing to the studio's demands for her to maintain a thin figure. The constant scrutiny and control over her appearance and behavior led to severe health issues. Garland suffered from anxiety, insomnia, and depression. She was frequently hospitalized for exhaustion and was known to have several nervous breakdowns throughout her career. Despite these hardships, Garland remained a beloved figure in Hollywood. She was known for her incredible talent and memorable performances, particularly in The Wizard of Oz and A Star is Born. However, her personal struggles were well documented and her story serves as a reminder of the darker side of the golden age of Hollywood. The pressures and expectations placed on young actors and actresses during this time were immense, 
and Garland's experience is a testament to the toll that such a lifestyle can take on an individual's health and well-being. Her story is a crucial part of Hollywood history, highlighting the need for greater support and care for those working in the industry. Ingrid Bergman, the Swedish actress who won the hearts of audiences worldwide, found herself at the center of a major scandal in the 1940s. Bergman was already a successful actress, having gained international fame for her role in the 1942 film Casablanca. However, it was her affair with Italian director Roberto Rossellini that would make headlines and tarnish her reputation. Their affair began on the set of the film Strombole, which Rossellini was directing and Bergman was starring in. The two fell in love, and Bergman became pregnant with Rossellini's child. At the time, Bergman was still married to her husband, Petter Leinstrom, and the news of her affair and pregnancy caused a public uproar. The scandal was particularly shocking because Bergman was a respected actress and a role model for many. She was seen as a symbol of purity and innocence, and her affair with a married man was considered a major breach of moral conduct. The backlash was swift and severe, with many in Hollywood and the public calling for Bergman to be punished for her actions. As a result of the scandal, Bergman was temporarily exiled from Hollywood. She was denounced by the Catholic Church, and her films were even banned in some countries. Despite the controversy, Bergman and Rossellini remained together and had two more children. Bergman's career eventually recovered, and she went on to win three Academy Awards. However, the scandal surrounding her affair with Rossellini would follow her for the rest of her life. It was a difficult time for Bergman, but she remained defiant in the face of criticism and continued to pursue her passion for acting. In the end, Ingrid Bergman's affair with Roberto Rossellini was a defining moment in her career and personal life. It was a scandal that shocked the world and tarnished her reputation, but it also showed her strength and determination in the face of adversity. Elizabeth Taylor's personal life was often the talk of Hollywood, and one of her most scandalous affairs involved Eddie Fisher. At the time, Fisher was a popular singer and was married to actress Debbie Reynolds. But that didn't stop Taylor and Fisher from starting a romantic relationship. The affair became a major scandal, with the public and media closely following the developments. The situation was made even more dramatic by the fact that Taylor and Reynolds had been close friends. Despite the backlash, Fisher eventually divorced Reynolds and married Taylor. The fallout from the affair was significant. Reynolds was left heartbroken and received little public sympathy due to the perceived betrayal by her close friend. Taylor's reputation was also tarnished, with many viewing her as a homewrecker. But despite the scandal, Taylor and Fisher's relationship continued. They were married for five years before ultimately divorcing. The affair and subsequent marriage were just one chapter in Taylor's eventful personal life, but it remains one of the most scandalous stories from old Hollywood. Long before she became a household name in Hollywood, Joan Crawford found herself at the center of a scandal involving a supposed appearance in a blue movie. This revelation came to light when author Roy Newquist brought it up during his interview with Crawford for his book, Hollywood's Hairraisers. According to Newquist, Crawford admitted to making the explicit film, but claimed that it was made solely for private viewing by her husband at the time. When news of this alleged adult film broke out, MGM studio heads went into overdrive to prevent its release. They were determined to protect their rising star's reputation and resorted to buying all available copies of the incriminating material. Studio executives even threatened legal action against anyone who attempted to distribute or publicize the film. Despite these efforts, rumors persisted throughout Crawford's career, tarnishing her image among some industry insiders. Crawford never publicly addressed the issue again after her initial admission. However, the controversy continued to follow her throughout her illustrious career, which spanned four decades and included three Academy Award nominations. Even today, speculation remains regarding the existence and content of this purported early endeavor by one of old Hollywood's most celebrated actresses. Lana Turner was born Julia Jean Turner on February 8, 1921, in Wallace, Idaho, but it was her tumultuous personal life that would become front-page news, overshadowing her successful film career. In particular, one incident involving her daughter, Cheryl Crane, shocked the nation and led to widespread speculation. On April 4, 1958, Turner's boyfriend, Johnny Stompanito, was found dead in her home. The cause of death was determined to be a fatal stab wound. Just 16 years old at the time, Cheryl admitted to killing Stompanato, but claimed she did so in self-defense after he attacked her mother. Despite initial doubts, prosecutors ultimately agreed and decided not to pursue charges against Cheryl, 
the trial captured the public's attention, fueled by rumors of abuse, infidelity, and mob connections. Many were quick to judge Turner, labeling her a femme fatale who attracted danger. However, those close to her painted a different picture, one of a devoted mother trying to protect her child. Despite the controversy surrounding the case, Cheryl was eventually placed under the guardianship of her grandmother until she turned 18. Meanwhile, Turner continued to act, appearing in over 50 films throughout her career. Yet, the specter of that fateful night lingered, casting a shadow over her professional achievements. To this day, questions remain about what truly transpired that evening. While some see Cheryl as a brave defender acting out of love, others view her actions as premeditated. Regardless, the story remains a cautionary tale about the dangers of fame and fortune and the consequences they can have on even the most ordinary lives. Marilyn Monroe, the iconic actress and symbol of Hollywood glamour, is still surrounded by mystery even decades after her untimely death. The official cause of her death was listed as a drug overdose, but many theories have emerged over the years. One such theory involves the Kennedy brothers, John and Robert. Monroe was rumored to have had affairs with both brothers, and some speculate that her death was not an accident, but a cover-up. This theory has been fueled by the fact that Monroe was reportedly planning to hold a press conference to reveal her relationships with the Kennedy brothers just days before her death. Another theory surrounding Monroe's death involves alleged mob connections. Monroe was married to infamous gangster Joe DiMaggio, and some believe that her death was a result of her knowledge of mob activities. Despite these theories, Monroe's death remains a mystery, and the truth may never be known. Her legacy continues to captivate audiences, and her influence on Hollywood and popular culture is still felt today. It's important to note that these theories are just that, theories. There is no concrete evidence to support any of them, and the official cause of Monroe's death remains a drug overdose. However, the enduring fascination with Monroe and her mysterious death continues to intrigue and captivate audiences to 